Bob Larson. I'm on the faculty of the Veterinary College here at Kansas State University. Today I've been speaking at the Cow-Calf Conference where we have veterinarians and beef producers gathered together to talk about several aspects of beef cattle management. What I was talking about was how we supplement cows on either standing dormant forage or harvested hay, basically medium to poor quality forages. One of the main things to consider as you plan a supplementation uh, plan for cows is what stage of gestation are they. We know that the highest nutrient requirements for cows is during peak lactation, basically the first 80 days after she calves when her lactation is the highest. This is also the time period when we expect her to start recycling and to get bred again. Or that time frame is an extremely important time frame for the cow to be in good body condition. The time leading up to that, the, 50 day, the last 50 days of gestation or the 50 days ahead of calving are also extremely important. It's another time period where her nutrient requirements are increasing as that calf inside her is getting bigger and draining or drawing more nutrients. These two critical time periods are times when it's very important to come in and do some body condition scoring to make sure that the cows are in at least a body condition score, five or six, headed into the calving season. When we think about using body condition scores and supplementing cows, probably the most important time period is that, that period approaching when they calve. It's very important that cows calve in a body condition score of, say, five or a little better. The best way to make sure that she does that is to start out three to four months ahead of calving to do a body condition score at that time and if she's a little bit thin to make any adjustments in the supplementation so that she can reach her desired body weight within that three or four months before, or by the time she calves.